Hi guys, Sea Chronicles here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're here for the first time, my content is mostly fragrance reviews, fashion videos, lifestyle videos, and a lot more. And if you're returning, thank you so much for always supporting. I am not going to show you this uh, picture for the entire time. I was just too lazy, guys, to record an intro. But what we're doing today is I'm going to show you 75 fragrances within my collection that are and uh, let's keep it around 30 35 dollars 75 75 budget fragrances under 30 35 dollars that smell great and are great alternatives to popular designer luxury niche and mm, celebrity fragrances so stay Now, if you've always wanted a whiff of Tom Ford's Santal Blush, then try this one, Adam Levine. And this one is your spicy, woodsy, aromatic floral scent. For your simplistic, white, summery floral that can easily be mistaken for Yves Rocha, Tendre, Jasmine, try Kelvin Klein Beauty. Are you looking for a YSL Long Alternative? I have one right here for you guys, Convict by the company Verve. This is their inspiration or this is inspired by YSL Balm. Not new to my channel is Killer Oud's Night of Arabia by Paris Corner. If you have been on my channel for a while, you know I always rave about this one. This is inspired by Byredo Black Sapphire. Are you one of those people that love the original Olympia? I have something for you. I did a review of Marilyn Monroe's How to Marry a Millionaire. I think last year. Try that one and thank me later. Do you love hypnotic poison and wish it had a twist? Try misguided babe power. This guy's has some booziness and a lot of cherry and it dries down a lot powdery, but it will somehow give you a similar vibe. Do you fancy the Chanel champagne lifestyle, but have a beer budget? Then I have something for you. If you love Coco Mademoiselle, by Chanel, this is a great dupe. This is a muff for women, but it's inspired by Chanel's Coco Mademoiselle. If you love Mancera's Intense Cafe and just can't afford it, then you can grab this one for only $30 or under. This is not an advert. I know I'm sounding like an advert, but this is just to help you guys. If you want to smell like Intense Cafe, this would be one recommendation for me. Cafe Intense by Paris Corner will do just that for you. If Jean-Paul Gaultier's Scandal and La Via Belle had a baby, it would smell like this. And as you can see, the bottle is empty. I think I have just two mils left in there. That is because I love it. Astaf Underlib would be your best alternative for smelling like a combination of La Vie, La Belle, and Scandal by Jean-Paul Gaultier. Fancy another twist to Mancera's Intense Cafe? This baby has got you. This has a bit of some citrus to it. Um, so it's quite aquatic, but it does give me Intense Cafe vibe. This is Feyrouz by White Oud Perfumes. Now look at this beauty, guys. Emberly. Amo Rosso by Maison Alhambra and this is the gorgeous 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 bottle uh, let me spray this a little right this could be an exclusive to Maison Alhambra but it gives me a combination of Tiziana Terenzi's Comet collection uh, fragrance called Waitana um, mixed with a bit of Oud Satin Mood by MFK so yeah and the other thing about this one guys is it's Beast Mood are you one of those people that got so disappointed when Marc Jacobs' decadence got discontinued? Well, here's an alternative for you. This is a cross between Marc Jacobs' decadence and Russia's moustache. And it's from Maison Alhambra and it's called Kismet for Men. Fancy a watered down La Vie Belle? Try Reveler, Reveler Pour Farm by Verve. Looking for a sweet cheapy to add to your collection? James Bond 007 Pour Femme could be the one for you. Don't let the citrusy look of the bottle deter you. There is some citrus in here, but the citrus just comes and goes within 10 minutes, I'd say. And what you're left with is a very sweet, juvenile, crowd-pleasing, gorgeous fragrance. 
another cheapie for about 20 25 dollars is latafa's opulent mask and this one is marketed for women but it leans you know uh it, it to me it's best for both sexes right latafa's opulent mask is your aromatic take on baccarat rouge 540 it has that middle eastern twist together with the florals and it's something that you definitely enjoy if you love baccarat rouge 540 another take on mfk uh, Baccarat Rouge 540 would be none other than Ariana Grande's Cloud. I know this one has um, the prices, you know, keep going up, uh, but you can still pick this one up for about $30, $35. This would be your youthful, fluffy whipped cream combined with praline uh, and some coconut interpretation of Baccarat Rouge 540 on a budget. Do you want to experience Killian's Back to Black but cannot afford the hefty price tag? Here's your baby. This one's also from Paris Corner. You will, you will get this one for under $30 and it's called uh, Double Black by Pandora Sense, which happens to be a branch or subsidiary of Paris Corner. Zara tuberose may also be exclusive to just Zara as I'm still trying to figure out what this one is inspired by but why it's here is first of all it will cost you under $30 and secondly it's a soft musky sweet let me just spray it a bit fruity mm, fragrance uh, so if that is something that ticks your boxes then you may consider buying this one Astaf, Princess of Arabia, is mm, making waves on my channel as we speak. There's a full review of this one. But in a nutshell, this is for those who love soft perfumes. It's under 25. It's a juice, juice bomb. This is so juicy, guys. And it kind of takes me through the same journey that I go to when I wear my Armani my way. So if that sounds like something you want to try, then for $25, our stuff, Princess of Arabia is the one for you. Next up is Elizabeth Taylor White Diamonds and Rouge. Now, imagine if modern muse Le Rouge had a baby with Gucci Guilty Absolute Parfum. I think it would be something like this. I do own both of those originals in my collection. I have actually layered them just to see if I get Elizabeth Taylor's White Diamonds and Rouge. And I kind of arrive at that. I still get, um, you know, that uh, offish, uh, offish fruit feel uh, from this one as well, which I get from Modern Muse uh, Le Rouge. It's not in Gucci Guilty Absolute Parfum, but it, I do get that one, you know, uh, in this as well as in, S in the SLO the one uh, but I feel this is like a great combination of both perfumes and to top it up this is very pungent oh how I wish I could open this one for you guys but it's a twist on cap and I'll need two hands for this this is Kashabi by uh, Latafa so if you fancy a bitter citrus rose white florals with a woody base and a slight aromatic feel especially the gentlemen out there then this one is for you this is one that may not be very popular on youtube but i always talk about this and i have backup bottles of it this is Shh by jade goody and this uh, bowl here i think had something to do with her cancer journey okay so yeah um i actually don't mind keeping the bowl there for that reason this is your easy reach non-cloying light take on tom ford's black orchid uh, here's all your other um watered down budget version of la vie a bell okay i always say this takes me to la vie a bell anytime any day this is katie K uh, katie perry's killer queen um it doesn't have the um you know the the huge lasting power of la vie a bell but if you are on your budget and you want it to smell good this is one recommendation are you one of those people who like sweet, powdery, sherbetty, um, you know, cotton candy, kind of pink sugar vibe fragrances? Then you may want to try this one. This is also a good cheapy. I like the lasting power of, you know, this one. This is Emmanuel Ungaro's LA Diva. And I, I recently found out, guys, that uh, Dio's Hypnotic Poison had a twin, the EDT version. Uh, this is Jean Athis, although the bottle suggests nothing of that nature. This is a dupe for hypnotic 
poison by deal uh the edt version however you do pay uh you know you do pay the price in the lasting power this is not a very long lasting power uh long lasting fragrance this is a reapply fragrance or an overspray kind of fragrance but it is good it gives you the vibe now i know for a fact i must be the one person or the very first person to talk about color ad by latafa on my channel this is a uh, fragrance inspired by um carolina herrera's very good girl gives me a little bit of some delina to it as well uh, i get some lychee here i get a lot of rhubarb as well very sweet pungent fragrance uh, for the divas out there if you like something that is beast mode then try Kalahad by latafa Here's another recommendation, guys. This is Wash Washer. This ha actually happens to be an oil, but I do have it in fragrance form, and I did a review, uh, I think about 12 or 15 months ago. This is Wash Washer from La Taffa. I think this is uniquely La Taffa. Um, it is a white floral with some pink pepper, bitter orange, um, and if I'm not mistaken, I think it does have... Um, I'm not sure if it has rose actually, okay, but I'm sure it's got raspberry. This it, to me smells a lot like Olympia, but not a hundred percent like Olympia. But if you like Olympia, I think you will like this one. Now, if you love peach, you could try this one. Um, another Elizabeth Taylor uh, from the White Diamonds range, and this one is called Elizabeth Taylor Night. Uh, this is quite cloying, um, but in a, I don't know, it's it's soft to me at times and it's cloying at times. Well, it's very peachy, um, quite heavy, sweet, woody, warm and spicy, you know, vanillary as well. And it's a bit similar to Robert Piage uh, Visa. I think it's called Visa 2007. So if you want to smell that one and you can't get a hold of it, try this one. This one is uh, more or less similar to that one. A take on uh, Bouvari's uh, Jasmine Noir is this one. This one's from Paris Corner and uh, off their Pandora line and it's called Jasmine Intense. It's a light Jasmine scent for those people that like, you know, very light scents and you will get this one at a fraction of the cost. Looking for an under $30 um, Dolce and Gabbana Pore Farm Intense Inspiration, try a Moffs Italiano Donna. If you love Dio's Poison Girl and you own Yara by Latafa, you probably won't be missing much. This is, however, a more creamier version. I find this one um, even milky to an extent, but it does justice to that fragrance. Um, the other thing about Latafa is they always put a twist, you know, they always add their own twist. So it's not exactly 100% identical, but it's within the same fragrance family ever wondered what YSL Supreme Bouquet smells like, then try White Oud's attempt at it. Uh, this fragrance is one that I reach for a lot of times. I don't know if you can see uh, where it's at. It's actually almost finished. Um, this I find is a beautiful combo or a beautiful cross between YSL's Supreme Bouquet and Mimo's Marfa. And it has a very good lasting power. Don't let this Lilabo look-alike bottle fool you guys. This has nothing to do with Lilabo. This is actually a mere collection, factory edition from Paris uh, Corner. And this one is called Ultra Citrus. This is a citrus on steroids, guys. Never mind the myth that citrus doesn't last. This fragrance, this fragrance, you know, has taught me that citrus can last if it's done the right way. And this is not an inspiration of Bigamore 28, which is something that a lot of people often call confuse this fragrance with this is actually an inspiration um for the discontinued Guerlain Le Frenchy fragrance so if you want that kind of vibe or you were wondering what Le Frenchy by Guerlain smells like then this is um Paris Corner's attempt at it James Bond 007 uh, Women 3 if you know me you know I love this fragrance this is one of a staple in my collection this is a uh, your tropical sweet floral fragrance and is inspired by Lancome's Hypnose and the EDT version. One of the Larive fragrances I own is this one. This one is definitely under 20 guys. Don't pay more than 20 for this uh, beauty here. This is Taste of Kiss and it's inspired by La Nuit Tresor. And this is your, um, you know, this is your dusty rose, very deep, but it's not as uh, potent and pungent as uh, La Nuit Tresor, but... Maison Alhambra Lavoe is your uh, money my way dupe if you don't mind the shameless.
popping that is Anna Abied by Latafa. Anna Abied by Latafa. There it is, guys. This is your very sweet herbal puree inspiration. Next up is Avon. Avon. Avon attraction for him. Look at this bottle, guys. Look at it. This is very beautiful. I just, I mean, the bottle. This is your warm, spicy, aromatic, woody scent. And it's about, I'd say, 40 to 50% similar to Jean Paul Gaultier Ultra Male. I featured this one on my channel not so long ago Interval by Lamuse. Interval by Lamuse. This is an inspiration. Um, this is inspired by um, uh, Amouage interlude and i believe to me it smells like a cross between the uh interlude men and the interlude woman because it's not as strong as the amouage interlude men uh original it's not as pungent and it's not as soft as the women's one it's right there in the middle so i find that this is like a fusion of both so Al Kayam Zafron. Al Kayam Zafron. I did feature this one on my channel. Um, I purchased this one mainly because of the bottle. I think the bottle looks so cute. I think, um, you know, these woods inside make it so beautiful. This is probably an exclusive Arabian uh, fragrance. I don't know what this is inspired by. But if you want to know more about it, it is a sweet, woodsy, kind of medicinal, a bit herbal kind of fragrance. Anna Abiyad Rouge by Latafa is popular for a reason, guys. I'm sure this is a bottle that you've seen so many times. And that is because it's a Baccarat Rouge. 540 inspiration although this one is a bit on the lighter softer side uh, this one interprets back rouge 540 very well to my nose it has about a four to five hour lasting power and you can see by the way i've used it that i just love this one if you like maison magella by the fireplace i'm pretty sure you've probably been told of this fragrance this is by latafa and this is called amir al oud intense it's inspired by by the fireplace it's a very smoky fragrance um very pungent fragrance as well very woody undertones that sort of style very heavy bottle i love it and i love the cost as well i think you can pick this one for about 30 dollars for the ladies, if you like Paco Robon's Lady Million, the original, then this is my recommendation to you. La Muse Rich Lady is one of those fragrances that interpret that particular fragrance so well. And La Muse is one of the very affordable ones. I think this one would be about 15 bucks, if I'm not mistaken. Ad Azafaron had to be included here this is your tom ford uh, black orchid inspiration this is a bit more wearable this is uh you know uh, uh, a bit less pungent and very affordable next up is the very niche smelling katy perry's indie um i love this fragrance guys i have a backup bottle of it already this is a uh, Somewhat similar to Juliet has a gun sunny side up. Um, very nichey, uh, but not too strong. But very nichey, and it just has that sophistication, that expensive vibe to it. But Verve Timeless. Verve Timeless. I don't hear a lot of people talking about this, but if you're wondering what this fragrance is inspired by, this is inspired by YSL's manifesto. Next up is a Clatio. This is a Verve composition. This is a watered down the Via Bell. So don't expect much in terms of performance, but it does give you the uh, Lancome La Via Bell vibe. If you're looking for a soft, feminine, um, you know, very soft, feminine white floral mixed with uh, some lychee, some peach, then you may want to try Maison Alhambra's uh, narcotic flower. This is an obvious uh, inspiration of, um, well, there's an obvious dupe of um, Fleur Narcotic by Ex Nihilo. I had to include uh, this little Avon here. I believe the bottle has been changed. But as you all know, Avon fragrance are very affordable. And this is uh, one of the long lasting ones from Avon. Uh, I like the vintage look uh, or Arabic look of the bottle. This is Mesmerize. And Mesmerize is a spicy woodsy scent. 
um, with a bit of some florals in there. If I'm not this one needs no introduction, guys. I have both uh, Betty Al Oud, Oud for Glory. I just haven't included it here. But this one is Betty Al Oud Amethyst, a very popular one from Latafa uh, because it is inspired by Initio's uh, Atomic Rose very good uh long lasting one if you want something that is long lasting this one might be about 40 dollars but i just thought i should put it here if you don't mind smelling jammy you know marmalade like sweet fruity this is one recommendation from swiss arabia they have this in perfume form i happen to have it in pure perfume oil form uh, but it's one in the same thing and i thought i should bring it i came here. across this house uh on uh, amazon uh this is a I'm not sure whether they, this is a French house, but it's a dupe house. All their fragrances look like this. The company is called Sangado. This particular one that I have within my collection is called Flora Garden. The reason why I bought it here is I feel it is one of very uh, close inspiration to Jean-Paul uh, Gaultier classic. If you fancy mango in a fragrance, here's one for you. Mango, uh, very fruity. I think there is also some citruses here and some plums. Um, this is not something that i'd say is inspired by anything at least to my nose but it is from orientica and it's called fanan next up is latafa 24 carat 999.9 i kept this this one specifically for the bottle guys i think you agree with me that this guy this this looks really nice it's like a dice um this one is gonna be your slightly sweet warm spicy leathery uh, fragrance uh, and it does share some similarities with paka roban one million for men zara zara red temptation we can't do this video without including zara's i am bringing an exclusive zara uh, video soon so you can look out for that one guys red temptation is your baccarat rouge 540 inspiration if you can get past the hairspray kind of vibe in the opening this one needs no introduction guys ragba by latafa but look at this this is how much i've had this one you know how long i've had this one in my collection the vanilla has turned a bit brown or not a bit brown very brown actually and the the rugba you know the rugba that you all know of actually looks like this this one hasn't been affected by the um i don't know whether it's the sunlight or something but it still smells the same rugba by latafa is your woodsy um incensey spicy caramel like scent uh, and it's in the same fragrance family as 24 by 24. What can I say about this one, guys? What can I say? Emir Collection is by Paris Corner. And this is their luxury line, like I said before, uh, because I did show you a couple of more uh, Emir Collections. This one is called Fire Your Desire. And this is your Killian's Angel Share Inspiration. Talk of a contradictory bottle. This, the blue here suggests that this is going to be an aquatic scent. But let me tell you something. Surprise, surprise. This is nothing uh, unfamiliar with uh, any aquatic scent that I know of. This is actually more cotton candy like a lot of uh, fig vibes that I get from this very sugary very sweet and I think it falls within the same fragrance uh, family as uh, pink sugar by Aqualina and if you like you know the powdery very powdery scents uh, sweet floral uh, this one's very similar to Vuvari's Jasmine Noir but it does give me wafts of uh, Lolita Lampica uh, I get a, a bit of some wafts of that and this is Jean Athens uh, Sultan Noir and you can see guys I was running out of sunlight so we fixed that my daughter came with a light Avon men okay Avon men made it here reason why it's here is, is because it's a fresh spicy um I don't know I try to open it with one hand it won't open but anyway it is what it is this is a fresh spicy mossy woodsy aromatic uh, men's scent and it's inspired by a Zaro wanted men Okay, by now I think you, you you pretty much get the fact that I do love white uh, diamonds, Elizabeth Taylor's white diamonds range, except of course for the original. The original tends to go off on me, uh, you know, in the heat, but I like the alternatives, you know, the other ones that came after that. This is white diamonds last. This is your woody, sweet, citrusy, white floral uh, with bismuth, bismuth performance, synonymous with what you'd expect from, you know, the Elizabeth Taylor uh, fragrances so it made it here because i I, I think i purchased this as a gift set and it was under 25 dollars for two of them this one and a 30 ml okay here is a different uh, latafa latafa is known for using very heavy woodsy scents but this one is very citrusy very lemony very bitter 
Alga Al Magnoon is a fragrance that is, um, it's high, it's a bit high on uh, uh, nutmeg mixed with a little bit of some incense and obviously that citrusy lemon, very bitter lemon and some lavender, very prominent uh, in lemon. Uh, so if you love lemon scents, you can try this one and it actually reminds me of Kenzo the Fant. Although, you know, I haven't seen anyone else talk about this one being similar to Kenzo the Fant, but when I sniffed it in a fragrance shop, it just took me straight to Kenzo the Fant. So right, guys, I'll I'll next up is um, Maison Alhambra's Maspani. If you like uh, Montau's Roses Mask, you probably appreciate this one. This one is very soft, though it's one that you need to overspray because it's quite light, but it does the job. All right, I uh, did feature this one on my channel um, two years ago. This is uh, Latafa's Confidential Private Gold, and it is inspired by none other than Tiziana Terence's Kirke. Next is my go-to bedtime scent. This is a very comforting scent from Elizabeth uh, Taylor. This is not of her White Diamonds collection. I like, you know, this um, kind of like a fluorescent kind of vibe going on there. You see, if you can see those colors, rainbow-like. Okay, so this is Forever. And it's it's a very fruity kind of fruit juicy like uh, fragrance, very comforting. I go to, this is my go to fragrance uh, for bedtime and it's very affordable. Zara's very own creation. This one made uh, a statement when it came. This one's off their tobacco collection and it's called Rich, Warm and Addictive. And this one, what I like about it is it's got um, it has like a rummy feel to it. So if you're one of those people that like uh you know really boozy fragrances this is one that i would recommend there's got there's some coconut in here and it's usually compared to mercedes benz uh club black uh for men next have... up is this beauty guys i love this bottle i think it's aesthetically pleasing fa paris rose de Prive. this is inspired by none other than amani's uh rose de Rubé, and uh, that is of amani's uh, private uh, collection so this is one of those uh, companies that were daring enough to do a really um you know really sophisticated fragrance and i'd say i give them a seven out of ten for this fragrance this is a very good fragrance guys here is a latafa that i purchased specifically for this you know these woods in here i have one more that i showed you earlier on and uh, that one was not a latafa this is a latafa guys if you're looking for one of those soft takes on middle eastern fragrances uh this one is one to uh, consider it does have oud but the oud here is very soft and it does turn a bit soapy another one is here as the uh, dahlia this is a more juicy like a more diluted but juicy take on delina this is a more youthful one this is one i would recommend say to someone that's younger uh you know the teens or someone in their 20s it does interpret um you know to delina but it's not as mature as delina and it does not have the lasting power of delina but it does do the work la taffa rums gold um is one i had to add here unfortunately i decluttered the silver one but that's that's one i'd also recommend um and if you want full reviews of the two this gold one and the silver one you can go and check out my reviews i have full reviews of this one this particular one is a rosy kind of fruity fragrance resinous uh, in nature it does have some ember and it's one of the beast mode latafa ones now here's one very sweet flirty girly uh fragrance i just bought this as a mini because i you know i didn't have a very positive experience with my very first um misguided fragrance which was babe power this one's called babe vibes and i would consider purchasing this full size the only thing i have with this one is it's super super sweet and as a result it is very long lasting because it is really like thick syrupy sweet so if it's something that you like you can uh, consider purchasing now this. if wherever you are you cannot find la rive taste of kiss this is your second option this is a paris corner la nuit trezor uh, inspiration uh, i did feature a la rive taste of kiss earlier so if you can't find that one it's most it's almost similar to this one they are both in inspirations of la nuit uh, trezor by lancome one of my um recent acquisition acquisitions uh, for from la Tafa is this one this one does not smell middle eastern at all it leans mostly western it is a very green, uh, almost citrusy green uh, fragrance, tea-like vibe. So if you like that sort of thing, like the outer shower kind of uh, feel, soapy feel, then this one would be for you. Elite Just White by Letafa.
add our zafran okay the only thing i have against this one is the sock otherwise the fragrance itself is perfect this is kind of within the same fragrance family as be delicious by dkny so if it's that, that's something like sounds like something that you like you may want to consider this this is like your apple your juicy apple very fruity very light summery scent now last but not least i had to include this beauty okay more color 24 hours this one is gorgeous i love the way this fragrance just looks it's very gothic in nature and the juice itself is reminiscent of how the bottle looks it's very fruity rosy it's got like a dusty rose um something that feels like a, a you know incensey that sort of thing and if you like i feel if you like um you know if you like mon Paris intensima this is the sort of fragrance that you would appreciate so yes guys we've come to the end of this um this series thank you so much for joining me i'll be back with more stay blessed stay fabulous and remember smelling good guys as a form of good manners cheers